Okay, I'm the next colleague, I'm Lisa. And that was a lot of information, so time to take a breath. Isn't it relaxing, this picture from the beach? Let's have a closer look. And maybe you expect what's going to come next, an even closer one. Can you see the small plastic particles? You might need a magnification glass to see them because they are so small. They are also known as micro nanoplastics, and research has demonstrated their omnipresence in the environment. However, they can also be present in our foods. And increasing scientific evidence is showing that normal and intended use of plastic food packaging leads to the abrasion of micro nanoplastics. For example, if you steep a plastic tea bag, and I'm not going to say that I actually found one here, <laughs> these small plastic particles may be released. However, what is the role of um, food contact materials as an exposure source to humans? This is a question which has not yet been explored so much. And therefore, we aim to provide an overview of micro and nanoplastics present in food which stem from food packaging. And we also call this project affectionately Minnow. And um, the goal is to identify or help identify the extent of micro nanoplastics in food which stems from food packaging. And this should also serve as a prerequisite to reduce exposure. And how did we do that? So we performed a systematic evidence mapping. The protocol is downloadable when you use the QR code. And what does it mean? So actually we screened the scientific literature published until last year, and um, then we extracted all the relevant information, which is a lot. Um, so for example, what is the study design? What methods did they use? What food, con con food contact articles did they analyze? Did they detect micro and nanoplastics? In which concentrations? What were the characteristics, like the shape and so on? And also, in which type of food or food simulant um, did they analyze them? Here's a teaser of the preliminary findings. So we created 600 database entries, approximately. And we screened 105 studies. And most of them were looking actually at bottles, but also some at containers and tea bags and um, cups. And 580 reported that they detected micro and nanoplastics in the food. So I hope you got interested. However, it still takes a while until all the data is available because we're just in the process of analyzing it all, rating the study quality, and then uh, prepare a publication. And we hope to have it ready start of next year, as well as a dashboard, which will hopefully then be integrated in our FCX dashboard. And um, now we're going from micro to a bigger topic, and I hand over to Etienne.